Hey, Carla, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Luz. How are you? Luz, are you there? Okay. Carla, tell me, what did you do today? Ah, I was um, very, very, very job or very work. I don't know. Mm, no. I, it was I very stressful today. Uh, why? What happened, Carla? Mm, because uh, I, tomorrow, uh, I have auditoria. Uh, yes. An audit, an audit. An audit, yes. Mm, is external or internal? Internal. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it's no problem. Um, um, I took archivar, no sé. Ah, file. Very, very things. Uh, for three, three, three months. Mm. It was be, too much documents. Ah, oh, okay. Yes. So you had to file a lot of things. Yes. And so what is that? The problem is you don't have all the documents or, or what? The problem is, no uh, uh, mm. Then it's because correct. Because I, I don't have time. I don't no, have no, no. time. No, no, no. Then it's correct. No, 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 no. It's okay. <laughs> Today, it's okay. Today, it's okay. Tomorrow, yes. mm. Tomorrow, mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> don't worry Carla it's the same for everyone everyone is you don't have time but then when is the audit or when is the report I, you, you spend all day organizing all day no only. in my case in my case I, I don't I don't have time because uh, pasé como un mes Eh, oh. sin estar en la empresa por, por la cuestión del COVID entonces ah, todo eso se me yes ah. in my case my husband eh, had COVID okay. then my son and finish me mm. so it was difficult for you to go to work I work at home around one month a long time. Yes. That's why it was a little difficult for for yes. you to organize everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. No problem. I understand. I understand. Okay. So how is everybody? I hope everybody is ready. Today is our last day. As you can see, we are amazing. Carla had a stressful day, but it's okay. The day finished. Tomorrow is going to be a better day. Right? So in this moment, we are going to go ahead and get started with unit four. We are going to review and practice unit four and five today. So today, unit four and unit five. Do you remember unit four is very common because we do all the time. Unit four is simple past and present perfect, okay? Simple past, present perfect, and the sequence of adverbs. The sequence is the second part. This is the part, very easy, first, second, third, next, then, last, finally, okay? But the simple past and the present perfect, always we have a little confusion, okay? Let's see if you remember, what is the difference between the simple past and the present perfect? What is the difference? Simple past, when you finish the action, or the, or the, 
is finished. Correct, Yancy, that's right. Simple past is when the action is finished, completed, and you know when it happened. You know the time, you know the moment of the activity. That's the simple past, okay? And person perfect is when uh, it's uh, like uh, experience. Excellent, that's great. So you remember very well that present perfect is like the experience. So the experience is ah, what you have done in your life, right? That's the idea for the experience, okay? But in present perfect, there is no time. There is no time, okay? So before we begin practicing um, and doing those activities, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to use the simple past to discuss our day. I went, I saw, I ate, I reported, I met, I called, I, all of the things that you did in your day. The important is try to use different activities. No, uh, today is typical. I don't know typical, I don't know you. So the idea is with your partner, explain your day, use different verb. The partner is going to ask more questions. For example, Carla, why was it difficult? What happened? Why didn't you do the report? Why didn't the important is create the conversation to discover the information, okay? Yes, mister, when you use um, ever? When have you, you make... ever? Or Correct. have you... you eaten? No, you need to put ever. No, you don't need to. Ever is an emphasis. Ever is extra, is not necessary. Okay. Have you eaten is correct. Have you ever is correct. The ever is only for extra information. Okay. 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 I'm just going to check to make sure that everybody's microphone is working. Luz, does your microphone work? Because you didn't speak before. Yes. Yes, okay. Yes, I think right. It was too much noise. Ah, okay. around me that way no problem i because i sent you the message and you didn't answer and i said oh maybe you have problems but okay thank you Luz. all right guys so everybody else is ready yes yes excellent okay so in this moment we are going to practice about our day focus the past tense different verbs in the past tense Daniel, Daniel, I send you to a room. Don't worry, in this moment. Everson, I sent you to a group. We're talking past tense and present perfect.
Maybelline Karen, you guys okay? Me sacó la plataforma y me, me no sé por qué aparecí aquí. Okay, no problem, no problem. It's okay. Our activity Pero creo for the que group. Todo ya lo sacó, creo yo. Yeah, yeah. The activity okay. is ready. We are ready for the next one. Teacher, uh, question, teacher. Yes. Eh, perdón, voy a hablar en español. ¿Cómo sería la, 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 la pregunta, la oración, la, la pregunta de manera correcta? Yo quiero, pregun quiero preguntarle a Miguel por qué no, por qué no hizo el reporte hoy. Yo la, la oración la hice de esta manera. Why didn't you, why didn't you do the report today? Correct. No why didn't you do the report today? Exactly. Es correcto. Es correcto. Ok. Y eh, when, eh, I, I am so confused eh, about the use, the verb eh, do and make. I think eh, the, the verb make is when I eh, fabric something. The verb make is when it's new. If something is new, is make. If something is not new, is do. I don't understand. Make, uh, make is the same as hacer, but no. do, make. No, no, no. Make is crear. Do ah, is hacer. Okay. Mm -hmm. I make, I, I make a, a table. Correct. That's right. That's the idea. Pero no sería correcto decir, I, I, yo creo una, una mesa. ¿Cómo lo dirías? No. Es que eso es. Así es. Exactamente como lo dijiste. Es que no es la palabra. Es la, el concepto. Es como fabricar, pero es crear. E exacto. Uh -huh. El do es como... En in, in, in this case, uh, I make it. Table. A table. Correct. Porque vos lo creaste. Eh, cuando pues, eh, hice una receta, eh, hice, hice café. I make coffee. Correct. Ok. Correct. Uh -huh. Yo no entendería cómo hacer o fabricar. Make. Ok. Como lo entendas. Lo importante es que para ti te quede claro que make y do son diferentes. Okay. Make va a ser algo que vos tenés que crear hacer, fabricar, cualquier palabra que quieras en español que tenga el sinónimo. Do solo es completar. Ok. El examen, ¿lo fabricaste? ¿Lo creaste? ¿Lo inventaste? No. no. Entonces I solo do. I do. I, I do, do the exam. Porque lo I completas. Ok. Cuando vos creas, fabricas, haces o inventas, es I make. Ok, thanks. Entonces, la palabra no significa tal en español, sino que es el concepto de esa creación que es la diferencia de make y do. Uh, I, I, I think this is our problem. Uh, we, nosotros siempre pensamos en, en la palabra, <ríe> no en el concepto, pero eso nos cuesta. Ajá. Es que así es, tiene que pensar en los conceptos. Igual, sí. uh -huh, no, no, no pensar en la palabra porque no estás hablando en inglés Perfecto. Usando palabras en español. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok. No problem. All right, guys. In this moment, now we're going to go ahead and we have many activities that we need to do. With our partners, we're going to review and complete the present perfect and the past perfect. Les doy un momento para que abran los links para los que no tienen, porque acuérdense, cuando vamos a los grupos, esos del chat desaparecen. Ahí tienen cuatro links en el chat. Asegúrense de copiarlos, pegarlos en Word o pegarlos en WhatsApp. ¿Alguien puede mandar por WhatsApp? ¿Hm? ¿Alguien pudiera? Ah, ya lo empezaron a mandar por WhatsApp. Gracias. Ahí está, Ceci. Sí, gracias. Thank you. Dicho y hecho. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the concept here is practice present perfect in simple past. No lo van a hacer calladito. La idea es trabajar con pareja, con compañero. Number one. What do you think? Ya todos están en number one. Ya, me, ya vamos juntos. Link number one. El Peter. Todos estamos con Peter. No teacher. No teacher. Ok. Let me... Vamos a ver el primer yes, ejemplo. Teacher. Primer link. Peter. Peter. El que dice link number one. Number one. Sim. Or pars. 
simple yes, play. Exercise play one. Play football yesterday. Okay, you have Peter? Yes. Okay, so imagine you are my partner. I am you and you are your the partner. Peter, football yesterday. Ah, ¿qué pensas? ¿Cuál crees? ¿Cuál? No, no Spanish, no Spanish, English. What do you think, partner? What is your recommendation? What is your suggestion? The practice more in English. Entre más se regresa en el español, más le cuesta avanzar. Acostúmbrese que su compañero habla ruso y la única forma de comprenderse <laughs> es con inglés. Mm -hmm. El otro, el otro compañero habla ucranio. Y solo eso, solo eso se van a entender. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Sorry, I have a, pro a problem with my platform. What happened? I don't download my certificate because um, in the middle exam, mm -hmm. I, I tengo dos malas y no me lo permite sacar. And I don't know the answers. Okay, vamos a ver eso antes de pasar. Okay, where, in, in where, where, Carla? In the middle, in the middle, in the middle the exam, and number, literal B. In the midterm. Number, yes. Number two, number three. In letter B. Letter B, yes. Letter B. Okay, one moment. Okay, let's see. Letter B. Okay. Me parece que tengo 96%, pero no me permite descargar. Okay. Let's take a look. Let me make sure it's the correct one before we begin the exercise. Okay, is this the correct one, Carla? Yes. Okay. Number two and three. Okay, what did you put, Carla? Did he study? Did he study qué? <laughs> Only. <laughs> no, entonces por eso está mal, porque no, esa no es una pregunta. Did he study in high school? Because in high school, yes. Entonces, porque iba a poner in high school si ya... No, 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 pero qué, ¿de cómo? qué estamos hablando? ¿Cuál es el tema? ¿Qué estudió qué? Ah, study French in high exactly. school. Exactly. Did he study French? Ah, Because did, the answer dice, is... Pero solamente tengo que poner he study. No, no, no. He study French. Ah, yes, 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 correct. ¿verdad? He study French. Correct. Porque de lo contrario no me la va a agarrar. Did you put mm, Carla? No. Ah, yes, 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 yes. ¿Cómo que no? Yes, 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 no, ¿cómo yes, que no? Yes, uh -huh. yes, yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, what is number three, other? Carla? When from college. Okay, and what did you put for number three? When, where? No. I don't know. The question in past, Carla. From college. When was? No. I don't know. ¿Cuál es el auxiliar para el when, pasado? When did? Yes. When did? When did graduate? Quién? Uh, when did they? Correct. No, we. No, oh, no they, verdad? Uh huh. They graduate. Correct. When did they graduate? That is correct, Carla. Mm, okay, teacher. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good. It's okay. Remember yes. that you need to have the auxiliary, always the auxiliary, yes. the auxiliary, the person, and the verb. This is the mm -hmm. three minimum in English. Mm -hmm. Teacher, yes. me too. Thank you, teacher. teacher. Yes, you're welcome. Yes? Teacher, uh, I have a problem uh, also. Uh, I finish, I finish uh, all program, but I, I can't uh, take the certificate. No, you don't get the certificate. Insaforp gives you the certificate. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Insaforp is going to give you the, the document. In PDF? Okay. I think okay. they sent in PDF. They sent to you or you can go to the office and collect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because I finish uh, all, all problem, all sec sections. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, yes, no problem. They're going to give you the, the certificate. Okay, thanks. Okay, all right, guys. So now you understand with your partners, link one, two, three, and four for review. You ready? Yes, yes teacher. Yes, okay. One moment. Let's make 
few more groups. Okay, let's go. Eugenia, you okay? Oh, hang on.
Eugenia, you okay? Hola, Eo. Eugenia, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, good, good. I put you into the group. I have having problems. Okay. Ah, okay, okay. No problem. Can you join the group? Okay, Eugenia, let me try to send you to another group. Eugenio? Sorry, teacher. It's okay. I don't know if you can hear me, but I. Can you hear me, Eugenio? Yes, teacher. 